Helene here with Eyes on the Game here in Boston, being joined by the number 10 ranked UFC heavyweight, Mr. Walt Harris. Now, huge fight coming up, but before I get to talking to you about that, I know you've been very busy traveling. I saw you take a photo with a Vetchkin. You said you were slightly starstruck, right? Yeah, that was, man, I'm a huge hockey fan, so that was a surreal moment for me, for sure. Are you a Golden Knights fan? Because I'm from Vegas, so I covered them when we lost to a Vetchkin. Yeah, um, no, I'm actually a Penguins fan. Um, okay. So, yeah, that kind of – all my Penguins buddies were giving me crap for going to see the Capitals game. But the Capitals showed me a lot of love. I really appreciate it. And I got to meet Ovechkin, who actually is one of my favorite players. Your fight will be in that arena in Washington, D.C. against Alistair Overeem, obviously the biggest fight for your career. What do you make of this matchup against him? I think it's a great matchup stylistically. We're both strikers, um, and we both – have a lot of finishes on our record. So I think that's what the fans want to see. Yeah. I think that's why the UFC made this matchup. Um, it's going to be exciting. So I'm looking forward to it. Now you guys are both finished or just finished. Uh, Alexi Olenek, your 12-second finish. How do you see this fight playing out and the advantages that you have over Alistair? Um, well, I'll start with my advantages. I feel like um, age, speed, um, agility, and movement, I think are always on my side when I get in the cage against any heavyweight. Um, and I think another advantage for me is right now I'm just I'm scorching hot, you know, to, to put it honestly. Um, and I think he's fighting me at a bad time in my career where I'm going up and I think he's kind of like plateauing, um, you know, and I see, you know, me getting a win by KO for sure. Now, a lot of people do talk about how good your boxing is. Will you be working with Deontay at all? Because um, he has a fight against Luis Ortiz. Yeah, so I don't know. Um, I kind of talked to JD's. Um, Jay said he'd be in touch. D just actually started camp. So I'll probably get a call here in a week or two to go in and get some rounds with him. So that'd be really good for me, especially leading up to an overring fight where, you know, I'm dealing with the best box in the world. Yeah. Before I step in the UFC octagon, it, it gives me always a, a big boost in confidence. So, yeah, I think it pro probably could happen in a few weeks. What do you think about his upcoming rematch against Luis, who gave him a little trouble in their first fight? I think this time he handles them all. A little bit better. I think he was more of a shock, you know, getting in there and dealing with Luis Ortiz. He's a really good boxer, but I think he'll be more prepared having been in there with him. So I think it'll put him away pretty early. But speaking of good boxers, I mean, Stipe also has really good striking. Do you think he's the greatest heavyweight of all time? Mm, in my eyes, no. Yeah. Um, I think Randy Couture is. Um, that's just my opinion. Yeah. But um, I think Stipe is on his way up, you know, to being – considered one of the greatest of all time for sure what about Fedor Fedor's up there too yeah I forgot about Fedor um yeah he's definitely up there as one of the, one and two I think Randy just because he revolutionized the game um for me I think that's what stands out the most Fedor definitely um I mean he beat a lot of great people yeah. um but yeah I think Steve is on his way to it we'll see yeah, but so many great fights coming up. I do want to get your opinion, though, because in boxing, a lot has been happening, and some unfortunate things have been happening. Yesterday, Patrick Day and then Maxim Dadashev just a few months prior. What do you think boxing needs to do or any rules they should implement to kind of prevent this from happening in the future? Um, I think they need to take a closer look at guys when they get dropped. I mean, I think that's when it's happening. Um that's when most concussions start, and then those guys get up, and they're tough, you know, and they're fighting through concussions, and they're going for 10, 11 more rounds sometimes, and it's just constant pounding on the brain. Um, as far as rules, I mean, I, I know every state has different rules, but I think the standing eight count needs to be looked at, yeah. um, maybe, you know, amended or some kind of way. I don't know for sure, but um, I think they need to take a definitely closer look at it because it's happening too regular now. But are you still interested in doing Zufa boxing? Last time you said yes. Of course. Of course. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, that's like, my box is my first love. So, you know, anything to make the sport safer, I'm all for. But it's never going to change my love for it. I mean, I, it's the same with MMA. Anything could happen. You know, you could take a punch and fall the wrong way. Anything. You know, we all kind of know that going in. So, um, you know, I still love it. I did talk to Dana White about it, though. What the, about you? Oh, about, what yeah. You I did speak to Francis Ngannou and Walt Harris, and they both told me they have interest into crossing over into boxing. And Walt Harris told me to tell you, please, you know, let him sign with Zufa Boxing as well. So would you let your fighters kind of sign with uh, both promotions? I don't love it.
I don't love the idea of guys crossing over because these, these guys that box, you know, like these, these four big heavyweights we're talking about, they've been doing it their whole life. These guys have been, these guys are really good, very talented athletes and, and, uh, they would get killed in MMA and, and these guys would probably get beat up in boxing. So I, I, I don't love the idea, but we did Mayweather McGregor. So I, I guess I can never say never anymore. Yeah, that, that's a good answer. That's a good way of saying I don't know. You know, we'll see. Anything's possible. I, anything is it's definitely possible. Anything's definitely possible. Um, you know, like I said, if he gives me an opportunity to do it, of course I'm jumping all over it because boxing is my my first love. I was watching it on the plane out here, old fights. Like I'm just obsessed with the sport. So, yeah. Dana, come on, man. Which boxer inspired you, though? Oh man, a lot of them. Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali, uh, Tyson. Like growing up, those are the ones I watched. We we recorded on VHS. So, um. You know, it's a lot of them. It's too many to name, but those are some right off the top of my head. Well, you are inspiring so many as well. And like I mentioned, a lot of fans do credit your boxing and your speed in the Octagon, which they will see December 7th. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Helen. Thanks for having me.